In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. One of the prefaces for Lent states that we have Lent in order to prepare us to celebrate faithfully, uh, worthily, the resurrection of the Lord. But before we come to the resurrection of the Lord, we have Good Friday. And today is Friday, and we're reminded very strongly today uh, in what we hear of Jesus' coming death. So let us look at Jesus, let us contemplate Jesus, let us reflect on all that he is doing for us. Jesus died for our salvation, so we pray, Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not of right, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord, the Lord is close, close to, to the brokenhearted. Broken <laughs> the Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord, the Lord is, is close, close to the brokenhearted. <laughs> the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord, the Lord is close, close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close, close to the brokenhearted. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. 
But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So in these weeks, um, these latter weeks of Lent, um, we're reflecting basically on who Jesus is, and as we've heard in the Gospel so far this week, uh, by what authority he does what he does, and uh, says what he says. <laughs> and very clearly, uh, in both of the readings today, that's basically that he comes from God, and God is his Father. The line here that Jesus cried out, you know me and also know where I am from, could actually have a question mark at the end of it because he says to them, you obviously don't know where I'm from. <clears throat> so our question could be from Jesus. So you know me? Of course we do. But how much more can we learn? How much better can we come to know him? He has been sent by God, he comes from God, and that leads to the reflection of, um, he makes it clear at the Last Supper that he is so desirous of returning to his Father. So one thing we could pray about today is the love of the Father and the Son, which is one of the essences of the life of the Trinity. So Jesus desires to return to his Father, and us, we are also sent by God for what today? And how do we try to know Jesus better today? One interesting thing that happens here in the uh, Gospel, and it often leads to the reflection uh, of Scripture scholars, was Jesus lying. Um, his first instinct is not to go to Judea because there's danger there, but there's a feast. And as Jesus prays and reflects on his Father's will, he realizes that his Father wants him to be there at that feast, so he'll have the opportunity to talk to many people. So how do we come to know what God's plans are for us? What do we read? What do we talk about with other people? <clears throat> do we look at the signs of the times in, in light of our faith? And finally, Jesus is the one that they want to kill. Jesus is a human being. How must he have felt as he lived the last weeks, months of his life with this feeling? And yet he was faithful to his Father's plan. We try to follow the Father's plan too. The threat to Jesus was that the threat to kill him might turn him away from his father's plan. What things threaten our or threaten us and lead us maybe to think of turning away from what we know to be the father's plan? So this today let's pray for courage and wisdom and the desire to know Jesus more and more deeply. So let us pray that the church model for us the courage that we need to move from one day to the next uh, in our following God's plan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray uh, for all those who are sick, um, and not only from the coronavirus, of course, but for all those people too as they become more and more, but for those who 
were sick before this and continue to become sick during these days. In other ways, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your intentions. We pray for the doctors, nurses, and health professionals at NYT Lawrence Hospital. So for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, Narita, whose health is compromised. For her, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the soul of Ippolito Gonzalez. For him, for this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Anthony F., who is in ICU on a ventilator. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Elisa and Andy Solner, who are both battling cancer. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, for Noreen K., for this less intention, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the father of a Jesuit from Maryland who's working in Fairfield, uh, who died, and for his family and friends, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. There was a long article in the paper yesterday about the hospital in Elmhurst, the neighborhood I grew up in in Queens. So let's pray for all those who are working in that hospital and for those who are sick there, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we thank you for your love and for your closeness to us, and we continue to grow in our confidence as we place ourselves into your hands through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. We have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Amen. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that, more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end be acclaimed. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us, with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, 
that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the last supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat his bread, bread and, and drink, drink his cup, cup we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, and to your coming glory. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and with your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray together with the whole church. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you are our peace and our reconciliation. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is in. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God.